All right, so today's uh, attunement is going to be on comparison, and this is a big issue because comparison often stems from the fear of missing out, FOMO, as often known as FOMO, the fear of missing out. Comparison is a sense of uh, the parts that believe they actually can't have what they want, and so they compare to reinforce that they're not getting what they want because remember our identity is always trying to prove itself correct even in the most insane way it will our worldview does not want to change so if you have an identity that feels like they don't get to have what they want they're going to miss out that identity structure is going to constantly be comparing and creating that separation to keep you locked in that consciousness in that identity state and so i'd like to do an attunement because this is such a big deal for you guys to start to like uh, bust through the cap of like keeping you from what you want to attract in your life, whether it's your health, a job, a baby, success, whatever that might be. To, to, to get into that flow, you've got to get past the identity structure that says you don't get to have what you want. Other people can have it, but not you. Because that identity is your subconscious attractor field. Remember the subconscious, what we expect and what we believe is our magnetic attractor field of our life. And we need to reprogram that. So the parts that are strong in there that are stuck in a timeline from the past that says, I don't get to have what I want. Other people get to go do that. We have to help those parts come up into the present moment and see maybe it's possible for me to have what I want through the your adult main personality now that is going to have a different belief system. You have to have, the part can always believe that. That's not, that's not the problem. The adult main personality needs to be stronger and bigger that says, I can have what I want. I can, um, <clears throat> I'm not going to miss out. I'm actually gonna include myself when other people are successful because as I include myself in them, with them, my frequency attunes with them and therefore I actually am experiencing part of that. That's the magic of inclusion. That's the magic of celebrating others. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Okay. So, um, all right, let's just get started. So why don't we just drop down into our heart center? Okay. And just breathing into the heart, a five-second in-breath. Breathing in again. And as you breathe out, send a line of light from your heart down your spine, down your legs, all the way down into the center of the earth. <sighs> Connecting into the earth's center. Connecting in with the fifth dimensional Gaia grid in the center of the earth. That's right. Willingness to connect in with a different perspective, connecting in with the energy of a timeline that's outside of time and space. So when we connect in with the center of the earth, I'd like you guys to start intending, say I'm connecting in with the fifth dimensional grid line of the earth. It's just an energy frequency that's above the third and fourth dimension, something to start adding into your own practices. And that just helps to plug you into the field of all possibilities. Okay, so connecting in with the fifth dimensional Gaia grid. And imagine the center of the earth being this crystalline center that's glowing and radiating all sorts of rainbow colors so that you're just attuning your consciousness to a part of the earth that, um, yeah, that's a higher frequency. So instead of it being an iron core, thinking of it as a crystalline core because the earth is literally changing right now. The frequency is changing. And so you're intending to connect in with that frequency. <clears throat> and then breathing this light up from the center of the earth and maybe even see it as rainbow light coming all the way up from the center of the earth, up through your legs, up through into your spine, all the way up into your heart, breathing it in and imagining this rainbow light in your heart just shining out into your auric field all around you and breathing out and imagine the line of light coming out the top of your head all the way up to the central sun to source to god 
to the source of your vital force and just connecting in and seeing yourself as this pillar of rainbow light containing all the spectrums of frequencies willingness to embody all the different energy patterns willingness to be non-resistant that's what the rainbow represents the rainbow light frequency represents non-resistance to all the different energy patterns where you're not resisting your humanity or your divinity and just breathing into the heart center and just for a moment getting a vision of this pillar a rainbow light connecting all the way down, all the way up. I am a pillar of love and light. That's my true nature. That's who and what I am. And this pillar of love and light, see it as wide as your body, just radiating up and down and just shining into the room around you even. And that when you're in touch with this life force, when you're in touch with this flow, you're connecting in with the earth, you're connecting in with God, and your love is capable of flowing up and down. Now, I'd like for you to give me permission to connect with the higher superconscious self for the attunement today. And the purpose of the attunement is to decrease suffering and resistance when other people are rising and experiencing love and light. The purpose of this attunement is to keep your own pillar of light open and expanded and to be able to attune and stay in connection with others who might have what it is that you're wanting. I'd like for you to imagine yourself in a field of beautiful wildflowers of all different colors and they kind of represent the rainbow pillar of love and light that you are. You see yourself in this field and almost see that you've got a pillar of rainbow light extending out of you, up above and down below. And the rainbow colors are also all around you in, these, in this field of wildflowers. And they're just beautifully blowing in the wind. Such a gorgeous day. And you notice that you're walking somewhere. You're walking down the path. And where you're walking is you're walking to a celebration. You're going to a celebration. And it's down, down the pathways. It's an outdoor celebration. And you see a stage that you're walking to, kind of an outdoor stage. And you're seeing someone <clears throat> that you know that is that you're going to celebrate. You're celebrating them having achieved something that you are wanting for yourself. So you're going to someone else's celebration, walking down this path of wildflowers going to celebrate someone who has what you're wanting, someone who has what you value, someone who is doing, achieving, experiencing something that you've been longing for. Maybe as you're walking towards this, this stage for this person that you're going to celebrate, and there's other people there celebrating them as well. Maybe you're celebrating their health recovery. Or maybe you're celebrating a relationship. Maybe they're getting married and they've found the love of their life. Maybe they've just had a baby and you've been wanting a baby. Maybe it's someone who's outputting and doing the kind of work that you want to do. Maybe they've just released a book or they've just released a podcast or they've just created some piece of art that's similar to what you want to be doing. So what is it that this person, what is it that you've been longing for? and that you're about to go celebrate someone else who has it, who has what you want. So just imagine, if you would, what it could be like if you were really excited to come celebrate with them. You might notice there's some resistance, but we'll get to that in a moment. Right now, I want you to get in touch with the part of you that wants to celebrate someone else's joy and just lighting up what that could be like. They're doing what you love and you value. They have it. Try to feel yourself celebrating for them without resistance. And as you try to do that, notice what might be coming up. Higher superconscious self, do you see the parts that might not be fully on board with unconditionally celebrating this other person's success? Because in some way, it makes them feel bad. 
There's no judgment here, by the way. This is a very normal human experience. So there's no judgment with these parts. We want these parts to be seen. Higher super conscious self, please let these parts know that are in resistance, that it's okay for them to show up. It's okay for them to be seen. And that we need to see them to help them be able to join the celebration with us. So I just want you to get in touch with any parts that are resisting celebrating, fully celebrating this person. That They might be resisting because they feel bad that um, you aren't able to be up there doing the same thing. I have a lot of uh, energy going through my head right now, so there's a lot going on. Um, all right, so getting into in touch with this part, the part that is resisting celebrating. Maybe the part is afraid that you'll never get to have that experience. And so it doesn't really want to celebrate someone else because it doesn't want to feel the grief that you'll never get to have that. Maybe this part feels like you don't belong here. You don't belong. You're not, you're not one of these people. It's bringing that, that part forward. And let's bring especially the part forward that has the fear of missing out. Oh no, I'm never going to get to have that. I'm never going to get to have that experience. I'm going to miss out. Let's bring that part forward. Higher super conscious self, please take all of these parts for the attunement today, for the memory reconsolidation, prepare them for treatment, explain to them the benefits of merging with the adult main personality, the benefits of learning how to celebrate someone else's success. Bringing, part, bringing forward any part that feels like it's just too late for you to get to have this experience. You're too old. Too much time has went by. There's no way you can do it now. And any other resistance pattern. So just bringing into the active experience the parts that do not want to unconditionally celebrate because there's a pain there. There's a fear there. There might be a shame there, a regret, a self-criticism. Whatever that part is for you that blocks you from fully, unconditionally celebrating others. We all have it. It's normal. These parts don't need to hide. They can come forward. We want to see them. We want to know them. Higher super conscious self, please find the original event that created the parts that are afraid of missing out, afraid that they don't get to have what they want. Find the event in their first five years of life. Open up that file, performing a massive change of history to this part that has a deep grief, a deep shame, a deep disappointment. They didn't get to have what they wanted, creating that original part that's afraid of missing out. Finding next the part somewhere between the ages of five and 15 that was imprinted with the belief, I don't get to have what I want. Find that original event that's stored in the unconscious mind. Open up that file, make edits, performing a massive change of history. Updating all parts of all timelines to the current reality, the truth that these parts do get to have and experience what they want, even if it's experiencing it through others, it opens the gateway for them. Higher self, please find the part from ages 15 up to the present moment, open up those memory structures, the events that imprinted that same belief system, the false belief of, I don't get to have what I want, I'm going to miss out, I need to close off, I need to resist others' successes. Opening up those memory files and making edits, performing that massive change of history again, memory reconsolidation, merging the past with the present moment. And higher superconscious self, let's teach these parts the truth. Teach the parts the truth. 
My expansion is their expansion. Their expansion is my expansion. We are all one unified conscious field. As I celebrate them, I receive that frequency, which helps to direct my own path. Now, just imagine you're back to the stage, you're in the scene where you're in that field of wildflowers, there's that stage with the person that you're celebrating, and notice the adult main personality senses these parts that want to resist. The adult main personality kicks in and says, no, we are here to celebrate. And the adult main personality brain state kicks in and opens up the pillar of light that was just mm, cinched off by being in resistance. Seeing your adult main personality willingly celebrating this person, willingly opening up the pillar of love and light and feeling joy for them. Getting past the ego, getting past that resistance, getting past competition, comparison, jealousy, opening up the pillar of light to just allow your own love in to be with this person. Your willingness to celebrate is your willingness to keep your own pillar of love and light open. When you go into jealousy, it constricts your pillar of love and light and it actually knocks you off your own path. It constricts your own life force flowing through you. And it's not the protection that you're wanting. Higher superconscious self, teach these parts this truth that when they resist, they're constricting their own life force, making it impossible for them to have what they want. So just noticing that the main personality is starting to celebrate, maybe clapping your hands, maybe cheering on your friend who has what you want and notice something starts to happen. As you start to open your heart and your willingness to override the parts that feel bad and self-critical, as you're willing to step into that main personality, integrating these parts, saying parts, I see you and hear you. I can see that this is scary for you because you're afraid you're not gonna have it, but guess what, we're gonna celebrate right now. And as one united whole, you start to celebrate your friend. And as you do, your vibration, your pillar of light expands and expands and expands to the point where it feels like you're actually so big that you're on stage with your friend. You're celebrating them so much. Next thing you know, it feels like you're actually the one up there on the stage. And what do you know? You look down and you see the past you celebrating you. And you see a whole bunch of other people celebrating you. And you realize that your celebration of them was your own expansion. It opened up the pathway for you to do what you love and to someday be the one that others are celebrating because you connected with them, you connected with that frequency, you opened up your heart. And in this moment of realizing that it was through opening your own love and celebration, you realize this truth. It's impossible to miss out when I celebrate another. It's impossible to miss out when I celebrate another. Higher super conscious self, please attune all parts, all timelines, all emotional patterns to that truth. It's impossible to miss out when I celebrate another because I'm part of that frequency. I'm part of that experience energetically. The truth is we're all connected, you guys. We rise together. This is how we rise together. You celebrate another one, it helps to keep your own light open. We celebrate together. Higher super conscious self, please attune all parts. Their expansion is my expansion. Bring that truth through all timelines, all memory structures, one, two, and three, this lifetime, past lifetimes, generational timelines, family contracts, replacing this with the new truth. Their expansion is my expansion. 
There's no threat. There's no shame. There's no need for self-comparison. We rise together. And notice now up on the stage as you're realizing that you're being celebrated, you look out into the field of wildflowers, all of these beautiful wildflowers, all different colors, and you see it as a metaphor for all the people that you've been celebrating and that have been celebrating you are all part of one beautiful field of wildflowers. No one is better than another. There isn't one wildflower out in that field that you'd pick out that, oh, they're the pur purple wildflower. I guess I can't be the purple one. Or, oh, they're the yellow, yellow, they're the yellow wildflower. I guess I can't be a yellow one. There's many, many wildflowers, some of the same colors, some of the different colors. There's room for all. There's room for all. All of the wildflowers belong here. There's no competition in that field of wildflowers, is there? There's no comparison in the field of wildflowers. Higher superconscious self, please imprint the metaphor of the field of wildflowers into these parts so that comparison, jealousy, self-criticism is resolved and dissolved so that the emotions of I don't belong, I don't get to have, resolve and dissolve, bringing that metaphor. It's one vast field of wildflowers. We celebrate each other's beauty and we, be get, we get to experience what they're experiencing. Their expansion is our expansion. So now in your mind, if you could just find someone who's experienced what it is that you love and with your willingness, just be happy for them fully happy in every way that you can. And from this point forward, when you catch that part of you that goes into comparison and competition and fear that you don't get to have what they want, remember that field of wildflowers. Remember that their expansion is your expansion. And that by celebrating them, it puts you on your path and you merge onto that great stage of celebration with them keeps your life force open, your pillar of love and light flowing. And that's what you really want. That's what you really want. Higher super conscious self, thank you for this attunement. Please uh, continue to ground all of these recoded memories into the matrix of the universe, down through the unconscious mind, the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, down through the grounding cord keeping this pillar of love and light expanded and opened and remembering together we rise. Thank you and disconnecting now.